And sometimes you just gotta believe There's something that'll give you relief beautiful people of the Philippines and around the world, this is Yuki and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we will be going to one of the chemistry laboratories here in NSYSU and we will be toured by my friend. But I am still waiting for him. So um, he is a PhD student here in the chemistry department of Zhongshan. So let's go! <laughs> Ano yung gina yung ginagawa niyo sa lab? Siguro ano, um Parang... simple lang. Um mm -hmm. yung gawa kami ng ano, ng simple um mga usually ano siya, mga very simple to make materials na uh, for ano for kata for catalysis. Basically ano um ginagawa namin siya to solve world's problems in energy in the wow. environment. So more likely mga, ano, mga um, energy-based materials. Mm -hmm. you know. So for, for us kasi, ang ginagawa namin ngayon, mas focus kami is hydrogen energy. Ah, kasi, okay. Oh, kasi mas, ano, parang nakikita namin in the future makukus na tayo ng fossil fuel. Mm -hmm. So medyo ano, kailangan natin to keep up with what to keep with the the standards of the of the nations, especially to solve climate change, to help wow, uh, to the energy changes, to have alternative sources of power. And one of them is hydrogen energy. Mm -hmm. Maganda kasi yung storage niya. Plus maganda kung ma ma develop yung storage kasi para hindi you know. Pero for us, ang mismong goal namin is to to make uh, the to make catalyst simpler to make, okay. pero ah, okay. uh, very simple yes. to make. Na hindi hindi masyado nilang na sob ng tedious process. Nice. Tapos gagawa na lang kami ng hydrogen in a much more efficient way. Kasi for example, isipin mo kung mare solar or wind power. Mm -hmm. Tapos idit i it transport mo siya through grid to grid. Mm -hmm. Ang tagal nun. Tapos nabawalan ka ng energy. Mm -hmm. So kung kaya mo na siya from the solar, directly ikagawin mo na siyang hydrogen. At least mo sa store siya. Mm -hmm. And then pwede gamitin. And ang key component na ginagawa namin basically is that that direct conversion. Kung paano, paano mo ma mas ma magiging maayos or mas magiging efficient yung pag-convert ng water to hydrogen. For oh. water, for us is water to oxygen, which is the opposite ah, okay. one. Okay. Because the water is and it H2O. is still that to hydrogen to oxygen. Yeah. Okay. Paano ka naging interesado sa chemistry? Siguro ano? Um, it's actually ang first interest ko talaga is microbiology. Okay. Because <laughs> that eh, um, he, because nakaron ako interest sa research ng high school, sa mm -hmm. high school research class kami, and Eventually, I was able to uh, to work on my own. Mm -hmm. Na tapos, um, na very exciting yung ginagawa ko na parang I'm trying to able to do experiments by myself in high school. Um, although my group meets kami, pero yun, narang they help me naman. Pero I, yung hands-on experience to handle like antimicrobial assays before. It actually helped me to um, to have interest in science, in research, and then the first thing that came to my mind when that is chemistry, because mm -hmm. uh, actually my teacher, you know, may may meron kami di pa kakaunawa na first ng ng chem chemistry teacher namin, kasi nagali siya sa akin. Pero eventually, parang I got interested in the subject and and how I already saw like what is the application of learning this in mm, her. Okay. So, nakatulong din yun to decide on what field should I go. Mm. Um, eventually, it turns out na parang, ano na rin, parang, win na rin siguro ni Gat, na biglang, nag-transform nag siya into chemistry. Supposedly, I like, I would love to go to parang medyo medical 
medical uh-huh. science or something. Pero eventually, it turns out, napunta ako sa, ano, sa chemistry. Okay. Ano yung qualifications para makapasok sa lab niyo? Ako? Mm-hmm. Uh, sa totoo lang, sabi ng professor ko, ang qualification niya is, alam, basta alam mo general chemistry. Yun lang? Oo. Kasi, ah, okay. kasi, sa totoo lang, yung ginagawa namin ngayon, is actually a lesson in general chemistry lang. Hindi siya, ah. hindi siya specific. Like, if you're going to other labs kasi, they, you need to have a specific organic chemistry requirement mm-hmm. for biochemistry, or maybe you need to have a skill in organic synthesis, organic mm-hmm. organic synthesis, mga ganon. Pero sa amin, ang gagawin mo lang is actually a uh, simple redox reaction. So, ah, okay. Oh, mga redox reactions, precipitation reactions, yung mga mm-hmm. simple na, uh, yun na yung kita nyo, yun ba yung mga combination, mm-hmm. single displacement, double displacement, yun lang yung ginagawa namin sa lahat. Ah, okay. So, very ano actually the 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 good thing is that pag inorganic kasi inorganic chemistry lab kami general mm-hmm. chemistry is actually inorganic chemistry and the prop the thing is that how can you make that simple thing into a very special thing that's okay. uh, that's our important ano that's ang yun yung pinaka important mission namin so ano pa ba yung makikita natin special about about this simple reaction. Okay. So kahit bio ka, basta may gen chem ka, pwede kang pumasok dito. Or kahit engineer ka tapos may gen chem ka, pwede kang pumasok may dito. Mga for example, meron kami yung bago na uh, parang she entered yes last year uh-huh. na uh, na student. She is actually chemical engineering. She's mm. not chemistry. Mm. So if you're, siguro ano, kasi syempre nasa anil eh, nasa depende yun sa iyong interests. Mm-hmm. Okay lang naman siguro kung biology, pero siguro kung interest mo is, pero ang problema kasi, hindi kami masyado nagbabayo material, so hindi ko sure kung <laughs> ano. Pero, you know, if you're really to change your, you shift your, your thinking about doing chemistry instead, then why not? Okay. I mean, we can, Sabi nga ng professor ko, it's more, basta ano, basta may, basta importante doon is, you, need, you know what you wanted to do, mm-hmm. you know what is something that, you have a goal in mind, something like that. Last question ko yun, Joey. Curious kasi ako, paano, ay, kailan mo matatawag ang self mo na chemist? Kung nag-graduate ka ba ng chemistry? Nakapag-take ka ba ng board? Mm-hmm. Nag-masters ka ba ng chemistry? Ano, ano, feeling mo? Sa so, totoo lang, sa Philippines na may boards, Ah, so, okay. Ay, ay hindi. Sa, sa Korea rin pala may boards. Pero, uh-huh. kasi, um, matatawag mo sa iyo yung chemist. Kung nag-work ka talaga in a chemistry lab. Okay. Kasi, okay. although, although we have also some people na mga instrument specialists. Kasi, uh-huh. ano, sa Fili- if you're in the Philippines, you're going to be called a chemist once you have a license. Okay. Yun lang. Pero if, if dito ka, like for example, matatawag ka ng chemist, if you're working in a chemistry lab or you're working in a chemistry related field. Ah. Or in a chemistry related like for example if you're uh, if you're doing something about oil, like or if you're ano. Pero uh, kasi for example dito sa Taiwan, kailangan din ng ano, kailangan din ng chemist sa ano sa foundries. Okay. So, like, technically chemist ka pa rin, pero syempre, nasa, pump, nasa isang tech company ka. Mm. Ganun. Pinitin ka na ano eh, laki ka na rin na kailangan mag-boards. Pero sa totoo lang, kung puta ka ng, kung lalabas ka naman, hindi mo naman kailangan ng license eh. Mm-hmm. Sabi ka na isang kong professor na getting a chemistry license is just a, a social self-preference. Oh, okay. Pero ngayon kasi because of the law, parang medyo impossible na siya. <laughs> so, mas maganda. Either you're a chemist or a chemical technician. Diba? So, you can just like pass the boards then. Yeah, you can be you can do chemistry. License ka po yung showing? Ah, license ka. Okay. X Radio and I X ray. X ray diffraction. I X ray diffraction. Okay. Uh, X ray diffractometer. So, dito namin ginagawa yung 
yung sa crystal structure. So, mm. very simple lang. If you know powder, XRD. Um, mm -hmm. So, ginagawa na is may powder, tapos ipapasok namin siya sa machine. Mm -hmm. Tapos yung X-ray, it will, it will produce a fingerprint that will, or a pattern that mm -hmm. we can associate with the crystal structure of the machine. Ah, so, so pwede rin siya like dito mo titignan kung totoo ang diamante ba o hindi? Oo, pwede. Okay. <laughs> Kung makugrain ni diamante. <laughs> kaya dito na, kaya sobrang ano, sobrang, ito, pa, ito yung parang NMR namin. Ah. Kasi ito yung parang, kasi magawin kami ng oxides. Mm -hmm. So, technically dito, parang madali lang siya. Tapos pwede ito buksan, parang So, Dito namin nilalagay sample, tapos may x-ray dito na x-ray, mm. tapos mag-bounce off siya papunta doon. So, mm, okay. yun na. Galing. Yeah. Kaso, siyempre, kasi radiation to eh. So, mm. nilangan may, may license yung gagamit ito. Meron, Anong support. license? Uh, mm. Meron kami exam, special exam. For this? For this. Wow. Uh, Ako, na dito ito, lang sa ako Taiwan. Ako yung nag-administer. Ah! Oh, eh, wow! <laughs> dito lang rin sa Taiwan, dapat mo siya i-take. Hindi, hindi, hindi. Ah, sa lab lang. Ah, sa lab nyo lang. Kasi ito, lab lang namin may ari nito. Ah, okay. So, kapag hindi ka pumasa sa exam, hindi ka pwedeng gumamit niyan. Mm -hmm. Ah, tapos ikaw lang naging oh, administer. Oh, so, eh, galing ah. So, ito yung ano. Uh, ito yung ginagamit namin for analysis. Tapos yung isa, ito, isa. Ito yung raman. Ramas spectrometer na. Pero ano siya? Microscope. Ah, ito yung uh, ba yung? Microscope. Ah, okay. So, ito, share to ng shared, shared instrument to ng department. Kasi, yeah. So, dito naman, may minsan may ginagawa kami very special, ano, na tawag ay operando Raman spectroscopy. So, ang ginagawa namin, yung, yung instrument ng electrochemical system kanina, lalagyan namin dito, mm -hmm. tapos lalagyan namin yung cell dito, tapos i-observe mm -hmm. namin yung events ng electrocatalysis as it's, as it's happening dito. Mm -hmm. okay. So, para makita namin kung if there would be a change in the structure uh, as habang gumagawa na. Kasi, um, marami, may, marami pa may kuwang information from that. Yeah. Kaya Pero Joey, ah, sige, go. Ano yan? May hindi ako natanong sa'yo. Ano? Kapag gumraduate ka dito, ano pala yung pos mga ano, possible mo na jobs, career opportunities? Siguro uh, kung, ano, kung sa, maganda siguro sa R&D. Ano? R&D. Uh, okay. Um, more like, siguro, ano, ako, I will apply for postdoc. Kasi wow. yun yung ano. Pero, if, Ano, if I'm going to an industry, siguro it's an industry that related, that's related to energy. Mm. So, yung mga developments na, ano, uh, fuel cells, electrolyzers, mm. which is, siguro in the future, magiging importante siya kasi pamahal na pamahal yun. Yes. Yeah, true. So, Ngayon nga, mga 70 na ata sa amin. Uh, so, kaya, parang, so far, Ang problema nga lang, wala, siguro hopefully sa Philippines magkaroon ng ano, yun, yun, yun yung isa ka sa mga dreams ko na, na may, may dreams din ng ibang mga nag-work sa field namin sa Philippines, it's more of like, sana magkaroon ng, parang each island magkakaroon siguro ng hydrogen energy source. Wow. Then, para, as mag, mas mas accessible siya, tsaka hindi na kailangan ng, ng ano, ng oil. How can you start it, Kuya Joey? Eh. <laughs> <laughs> siguro ano um, kung siguro maging open lang siguro yung mga tao with the mm -hmm. technology hindi sila matatakot na hina they will try to explore new things to learn by themselves or pero hindi naman bakit siya nakakatakot kasi kasi Ay, explode ba siya so parang ah. syempre um, actually the, the major problem in our country also is sometimes we don't really want to try. Minsan, hindi tayo masyado, masyado tayo takot sa mga... Ah, hindi tayo pag risk taker. Oo, oh, hindi tayo risk taker. Yeah. Ma maingat tayo kahit sa ikaibigan nga, maingat tayo. <laughs> Pero, yun nga. Pero sa totoo lang, kung hindi, hindi tayo mag-progress pag hindi natin mm -hmm. i-break yung limit. So, yun. So, pwede siyang subukan sa Pinas. Isang isla sa Pinas. Kano kaya budget nun, no? Hindi ko sure. <laughs> pero, pero sa totoo lang, siguro maganda siyang start-up. 
Or pwede mo siyang i-propose, di ba, sa DUST? Parang ganon? Oo. Oh, um, picture it, I think, would definitely fund that. Oh. I mean the... Go, Kuya Joey! Support ako sa'yo after postdoc. <laughs> Losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back What's my purpose? What do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack